This is Twit. Glenn's on the line from Alexandria, also Louisiana. Hi, Glenn. Hello, Leo. Thanks for hanging on. Well, thank you for taking the call. Sure. Um, I'm I'm calling because I um, I'm trying to figure out. Um, my mother has a XP machine, and she's concerned that uh, in a couple of months they're going to pull out the support from that. Yes. So she asked me if I can help her move uh, or transfer some uh, files. Uh, folders that she has with pictures and music and other things that are important to her in that machine and uh, over to a USB thumb drive. My question is, um, the, the, I know there's probably more than one way to do that, but the, the one that I am most familiar with in XP is using a Windows Explorer. Yeah. Do you advise against that? or? Um, no, I would do, I do not. I think that's, the, in fact, the best way to do it. There are, you know, there's the files and settings transfer wizard and all of these kind of uh, more elaborate ways to do it. And I frankly think the best thing to do, you, when you stick the USB key in there, it'll look like a hard drive, is to d use Explorer, as you said, to drag the files over that she needs and just make it uh, that simple. If you really want to be complete, you might then run the file and transfer settings wizard and let it, it will back up. You It will want either a DVD or a CD or a USB key and back up a separate uh, bunch of files. It's not a bad idea to have it. She's not getting rid of the XP machine, right? She's uh, not going to use it anymore. Right. Yeah, so if, you know, if something didn't get backed up, she, it's still there. The key on the XP machine is it's still even usable. I just would make sure it's not connected to the Internet after April 8th. Yeah, that's what I heard on your earlier um, yeah. comment. That, that's all. Just, just don't make sure it's not connected to the Internet. Now, I, I have heard um, uh, that uh, uh, when you're transferring um, uh, files that are fairly large using uh, Windows Explorer, that uh, you may encounter problems. Yeah, with, uh, you can't do anything corrupted. bigger than two gigs, but I don't think there's any. She probably wasn't have, won't have anything that big. I know she won't. So, for instance, if, if I, I will not be able to transfer uh, like an entire folder um, just by... Oh, no, you can do it. A copy that you can do it. Have. There is... Uh, so... <laughs> It's kind of funny. Um, there is, in fact, this is something that only recently was fixed. In my opinion, it was only fixed in Windows 8. A problem with Microsoft copying. So so if you use Explorer, um, sometimes you can have problems with it. Microsoft has a separate command line that will do it, or you can get a better copy program to do it. Windows is notorious for slow, unreliable copying. Mm. So there are programs like TerraCopy. A lot of people like TerraCopy. It's free. That will do a better job of copying. And then what is the command? Padre SJ's in the chat room. He'll know. What is the what is the or do you know Alex the command line for copying? Instead of using Explorer, you can actually do it from the command line. Say RoboCopy. Rich is it RoboCopy? I think. Yeah, it's a better copy. That it's, it's ironic that Microsoft so little trusted. It is RoboCopy. So little trusted. It's copy routine in Explorer that they gave you a command line uh, but I don't know if it is an XP or not. I would get something like TerraCopy frankly. Uh, Robo, Robo stands for not robot but robust in this case. Yeah, it's in, it's in, uh, <laughs> it's in Windows XP. Um, you, you type you, you gotta get command line first. Are you comfortable with getting a command line, Glenn? No, not too much. Yeah, get Terra T-E-R-A copy. It's a good. It's a good copy. Uh, oh, and rich copy is a GUI for RoboCopy. So the problem with the command line is you have to know what to type, and uh, you have to know how to get a command line. But rich copy is a, I guess, the third party uh, interface, also free from Microsoft. Uh, it's part of their uh, Hoffman Utilities, I guess. So I shouldn't worry if uh, if I transfer uh, smaller portions of uh, her folders. No. Uh, if no. Less than two what happens is it's slower than it should be because the copy routines are junk in Windows XP, Windows Vista, and, and even in Windows 7. They weren't really improved and fixed until Windows 8, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, you got time. I would, I would either use TerraCopy or if you're going to copy a lot of files... Or a, try Rich Copy. You can download it for free from Microsoft. It looks just like Internet Explorer. It's written by a guy named Ken Tamaro of uh, Microsoft. And all it is is an, a, a nice user interface to robo, robust copy. <laughs> robo copy. Isn't it, isn't it say something, though, about Microsoft that they actually offer these, like, better copy utilities? 
instead of just fixing it, they said, well, just use this instead. 